Hey guys, Miss Daly here. Thought I would give you some ideas for some Easter crafts and activities um, for you to do while we are staying safe at home. Um, these are activities that you can also do after Easter, um, but they will definitely keep you busy um, while we're trying to occupy our time right now. And parents, this is something that you can also do too. You can join right in and create alongside your child. Um, so let's jump right in. So today um, we're going to be making um, a little Easter Bunny craft and you can also turn this into whatever kind of animal that you want to. Like if you would rather do like an Easter chick or something like that, um, you can do that. So basically this is just like a, like a coffee creamer bottle that's got the powdered creamer in there, but you can use whatever kind of, you know, recycled items that you have at home. Um, so that way you don't have to go out and buy anything. Um, if you've got any like you know, containers like this or whatever, you can just flip them over and turn it in, you know, to whatever kind of animal you want to or whatever. Um, just be as creative as possible. You can even use, you know, like paint or glue jars or bottles or whatever. So um, I usually try to save these though because I make just seasonal items with them. I do um, ghost with them, um, snowman, and then also Easter bunny. So these coffee creamer bottles are great for just little seasonal um, crafts for you to make. So first of all, what you're going to have to do um, is I just leave the body of it white. And so that way I don't have to paint it. So you'll take the label off, you'll cut it off. And then um, most of the coffee creamer bottles are white. Um, now, if you have some type of other bottle or whatever, you're going to have to paint it um, or container. So what I did was I just decided to paint um, little flowers on it um, and look like he was in like a little like flower garden. Now, you can also use Sharpies. It's better if you can use, you know, like a permanent type marker if you decide to draw flowers or whatever on it. Um, because just like the regular ones that... Um, are not waterproof, they're not going to stay on as well, and the co colors are not going to be as vibrant. So you can use, you know, um, acrylic paint or a tempera paint or some type of Sharpie or permanent marker. So that's what I did um, for the flowers. And then I went ahead and I drew the face with the Sharpie, um, the mouth, the little whiskers, and then the eyes. And then I went ahead and I glued a little cotton ball tail on the back. Now you can use just regular um, glue, just regular school glue, or you can use hot glue. Um, now kiddos, if you're doing this, you know that you need to have um, a parent use the hot glue gun and help you with it. So that way you don't burn your fingers. Um, if you decide to just use like regular glue, you're going to have to give it some time to dry um, because it will just slide right off. So you have to like put it on its side and let it dry so that way the cotton balls don't slide off. Um, now, if you decide to paint this, you'll also have to let this dry before you end up paint or uh, gluing the cotton balls on. I always suggest, and my kiddos at school have seen me do this too, that if you decide to paint, you can always get your hair dryer and just kind of blow it on there and it will dry it pretty quick. Um, so that way, if you don't want to have um, too long a drying time, that will help you. Now, but the glue will take quite a bit of time, but usually um, the paint you can put a hair dryer on. So after you get um, your details on here, your cotton ball, um, your face and your eyes, you can go ahead and um, glue your little nose on or you can draw the nose on. I decided to use like a little palm palm for the nose. Okay, so that's completely up to you. And then about these creamer bottles, what's nice with them is the little lid comes off. And this lid to begin with was red, as you can see. And then I just painted it that pink color so that way it would match my flowers and then my pom pom nose. So I painted it, so you'll have to give it time to dry. And maybe while you're giving some drying time, you can go ahead and start sculpting and making the ears, okay? Um, and so how I did the ears is I love pipe cleaners. I love how versatile and how easy they are to sculpt. So um, I used pipe cleaners and just almost made kind of like a leaf shape like this, okay? And then I like, you know, twisted it together and then I cut off the excess. And then I did like some little like swirls or zigzags in the middle 
of the um, ear. So all you have to do is just kind of do it like that. And then you can either attach it by gluing it or you can use those fingers and those motor skills and you can twist it around the white. Okay, and attach it that way. So then it be kind of kind of becomes like a stem type activity where you're attaching things together. So you can make ears out of paper. You can do um, pipe cleaners. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay, it's completely up to you. Whatever that you've got around your house. Okay, don't try to make a special trip to Michael's or whatever. So just try to use what you got at home. Um, so then I just attached them with hot glue at the top. But like I said, if you just want to use Elmer's glue, you can. Um, it will take some time to dry and it may not hold as good. Um, but like I said, don't make a special trip to Walmart or whatever, okay? Or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Use what you got. So after you attach these and everything is dry, then you just put your lid back on there. Now what's neat about these um, little jars is they can be functional as well. So you can put candy in them or um, you can turn them into like um, a little nightlight that sits by your bed. Um, I'm trying to see, I don't think I have my little thing over here. I thought I brought it over there, but I guess I didn't. Um, you can put one of those little battery operated tea lights in here. Um, no real candles, um, the little battery operated tea light that goes in here and it'll just give it some light. Um, my kiddos at school, you've seen my snowman in uh, my music room on the desk and you just put the little light in there and then that way it kind of just gives it um, a little light. Um, or you can just fill it up with candy or maybe you could leave like a little note for the Easter bunny or something like that, okay? so. That is my first little craft I'm going to share with you all. My little ears are backwards. Try to fix them so that way they look a little better. That's my first Easter craft with you. Um, I will tell you that you have to watch out. Even if you did use permanent um, marker or um, like with the paint, I will tell you that the paint is very, very easy to like scratch off. And even the marker is. So after maybe everything is dry, and even before maybe you add the nose and the cotton balls, what you may do is you may give it a nice coat of just like Elmer's glue or Mod Podge. These are basically the same thing. Mod Podge is a little bit heavy dutier, you know, um, and it's a little bit thicker, um, but you can use just Elmer's glue. And you all know at school, my CVS kiddos, I just put it in a cup like this and I just get a paintbrush and paint it right on. And this will just make a nice coating so that way your marker details or your paint details do not come off. Um, and you can even do it to the top too. So that just keeps your design on there and then that way all your hard work does not scratch off. So, but if you don't have glue or whatever, if you don't have extra, okay, and you just wanna keep it simple, then you can do that too. But those are just some little tips and tricks I have for you. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you decide that you do it, take a picture and send it to me either through your Google Classroom, um, send it to me via Facebook through um, your classroom. You can also maybe drop a picture in the comment section below. You can send me a picture through your student email, or your parent email, whichever. Um, so just send me a picture. I love seeing all those cute crafts and activities that you all are doing. Hope you all have a happy Easter. See you guys. Bye.